super cool party people. Honestly, the way my hair looks is about how I'm feeling. I did not sleep well last night at all. I was up a lot and I also had some really weird dreams. I can't remember them, but that's where we're at. It is just after 8. It's like 8.10. I slept in until 7.30. But again, I was having a really weird dream, so I don't feel like I slept the greatest. It's fine. Today is the day that I'm going to my grandma's and I can finally share my super secret news or project that I was planning. So I'm going over at 10 and my plan was to go over like craft or like I got her a jigsaw puzzle for Christmas. So work on that or watch movies or whatever she wants to do. And then I was going to order lunch from Skip the Dishes at noon because like why cook and then I got the brilliant idea that I should invite all of the grandchildren to come as well and so I reached out and everybody said yes and so my grandma has no idea they're coming for lunch and so the last thing I have to do is I, I when I talked to her on the phone yesterday I'm like oh I'm just gonna order through skip the dishes and she's like oh that's great you can teach me how to order and I was like damn it because <laughs> like obviously the quantities of food I'm going to be ordering are more than what we all just need because it's she's gonna be thinking it's just two of us but there's gonna be six of us so i'm gonna have to be a little stealth there but i'm sure it'll be okay my cousin was actually gonna pick up the food and i was just my plan was just transfer him the money but then she wants to order that way so i'll have to show her it's fine but i'm very excited she's just gonna have no idea what hit her i also got her some a valentine's day card and a valentine's day stuffy and i might pick up flowers i haven't decided yet so just like treating her because you know it's her first valentine's day without my grandpa and so you know we want to make sure she's spoiled and yes i'm aware that it is the 17th today so we missed valentine's day by like three days but i did text her at least on valentine's day but yeah I need to start getting ready because, like I said, it's 10 after 8 and I'm probably getting out of here within, well, like, the hour, the hour, an hour and 20 minutes, so I need to, I need to cover my zombie stains today because I feel like a zombie. I was hoping it would have slept better last night, but I definitely did not. It is fine. We will just, like, rally. We will rally. <laughs> Alrighty, so it's basically nine now and I've made my bed, which is nice, and I tidied my room a bit. I am dressed. It's sweatpants. We know this. We should never question. I'll let you know if it's jeans. <laughs> um, the vlog is up. My bag is here and mostly packed. I added my iPad into it and a pair of slippers because we're going to be there for a couple hours. Let's be comfy. I need to remember to put my water bottle in and... I just need to pack, I think, my purse now, like my wallet, uh, reusable shopping bags, all that fun stuff. So I feel like I'm doing pretty all right. I still have half an hour before departure time, so that is nice. I'm not stressed. We're good. So I'm just going to, I think, chill a bit. <gasps> Maybe I'll just screw around with my Harry Potter fan fiction. Because like last night, I was laying in bed trying to get to sleep, and I was like, where can I go next with this? Really doesn't matter. But yeah. Maybe I'll do that. So I'll pack my purse first and then I'll just, because I can't type very fast, which is less sad, but sacrifices, I guess. Anyways, yeah, that's, I guess that's what I'll work on. Next time I see you, we'll maybe be at my grandma's or maybe out shopping. I'm going to switch to my G7X because this thing's kind of big to bring around and um, we'll see what happens, I guess. We'll see if I can be good at vlogging in public slash outside of my comfort zones. Hello, sir. How are you this fine morning? What? Hello. I'm just talking to Crow, okay? Oh. Don't worry about it. I see you too, my friend Crow. <laughs> Uh, my lens is really the anyway we finished our super quick shop can we go to timmy's yeah all right we finished our super quick shop at the walmart the lighting is terrible and um there were crows that's all that was really important from that 
<laughs> and I bought my grandma like four different types of barbecue chips because I don't know what her favorite are, so she's gonna, she's gonna have to deal with that. Now you can't see me at all. Anyways, clearly this is not working. <laughs> I will check it with you in a bit. Alrighty, so I'm at my grandma's now. She's just outside with my mom. They're smoking, which is a terrible habit, but she has no idea what we're up to. <laughs> but she did really want to share her paper crafts with me, so. <laughs> She came and like dumped all these, all that, and then there's some box over there that's just full of craft stuff. She likes to craft also. We got the Timmies, which is very important. The lineup was huge, but we survived. And I think I'm probably going to suggest that we watch some Harry Potter because Harry Potter and then work on my embroidery at Sydney Opera House. I'm still not 100% sure how I'm, do the, how I'm gonna do the sales, so I'm gonna just do the bottom part first and then hope it comes to me by the time I get there. But yeah, going well so far. And there's so much seating here, which is nice. She's like, oh, I have so much seating. And I was like, you're going to need it. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go now. It is currently, what time is it? Go away, go. I'm trying to close out of Instagram, but it's not working. Oh my goodness, I'm useless. It is 20 after 10 right now, so we have probably about an hour before I'm going to order the food and reach out to everybody. <laughs> I love plotting and scheming. It's great. Okay, so I'm back home now. I know I didn't vlog like anything while I was there, but it was very difficult to coordinate everything and make sure that my grandma wasn't on to anything. Timing worked out pretty perfectly and my cousin's arrived just as skip the dishes was showing up so because i was like i ordered so much food i don't know how i'm going to explain this to grandma that i have these two giant bags of kfc but it was perfect timing and my cousin actually helped me bring it in so that was great because yeah it's like i walked in and then my cousin walked in my grandma's like wait that's not a skip the dishes person i am related to that person so that was good and we just hung out for like two and a half hours chatting and eating food and it was good and then i was gonna stay a little bit later but i was just kind of tired so i left <laughs> i got a ride home i got a little bit more work done on my embroidery piece before everybody showed up so we're slowly making moves the next step is the sales of the opera house so there's that and um yeah making making moves i am feeling a little uh and i have a feeling it's because of all the the greasy meal that I ate last night and then add a little like KFC today probably didn't help. So I'm feeling like a little like rumbly in my tummy, which is not enjoyable. But other than that, not too bad. I'm a little snuffly and I think there might have been some sort of allergen, allergen at my grandma's that was making me go bleh, but that's okay. We did talk about Survivor for a bit because she likes watching Survivor and my cousin's girlfriend likes watching Survivor. So half of us that were there enjoyed Survivor. <laughs> so we chatted about that for a bit, much to the chagrin of the others. And I suggested CBS All Access to her because I was like, if you've missed some of the episodes you watched, and she's like, oh, no, no, I don't want that. I'll just buy it. And I was like, okay, because like she says she forgets it's Wednesday all the time, which is when Survivor is on. And then like 20 minutes later, she's like, you know, that CBS All Access thing sounds great because then I can watch all the episodes of Survivor. I'm like, I suggested this like, you know, 20 minutes ago. And then she was talking about Amazing Race, and I was like, that's on there too. And she's like, I think I need to get that. So got her wrapped. But then it made me think, like, should I get CBS All Access? <laughs> because, like, there's a lot of good shows on it. But then that's the problem, is there's a lot of good shows on it. And I already struggle sometimes with being productive, so I probably shouldn't. But it is currently 10 to 4. I think I need to clean up this situation here a bit but a lot of chips and random stuff because I was at the store, so why not? And then the other one is like all my craft stuff that I brought with me. So what I think I'm gonna do is probably kick those, like just, just, just like, just in that general direction. That's not going as well as I hoped it would. <laughs> um, and I actually think I wanna work on editing my book. OMG, really? <laughs> so I think that's what I'm gonna do first and then I'll clean that up after. And then, I don't know. I don't know, maybe have a nap. Who knows, I have to work tomorrow, and the next day, and the next day, and Saturday. I don't ha honestly, I only have to work tomorrow. The rest are shifts that I'm adding on to like try to get caught up and get stuff done, so we'll see. I'm gonna go now though, because I have been talking for almost four minutes, but I'm also, I've also been talking at a very fast pace, so it's like a lot of info. So I'm gonna go 
try to be productive here. I may fall into my Harry Potter fan fiction instead. Who knows? But I'm okay with it in either case. Alrighty, so it is currently 5.35 if we're getting it right down to the minute. I am still sitting here and editing, but it's going really well, and I think I'm now in my fourth chapter, which is excessive and unnecessary <laughs> because I've hit my goal, but I'm just, I'm enjoying it, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep going because let's, let's just keep going when we feel inclined to do so. I think I'll probably do this chapter and then probably stop to do some dinner. That seems like a good idea. I think this chapter what day is this? It's Saturday, so I think this chapter is decently long. It's not Saturday in real life, it's Saturday in the book. Um, so I think this chapter is decently long, so it'll give me a good place to break. I have 80, nope, I have 42 pages left in the book at this point, so we are clocking along. I'm at page 140 out of 182. I had to add a section in, but I think it went pretty well, so... Overall, this is being a very positive and productive experience with editing today, and I'm very happy about that. I do obviously want to get in some Japanese study later today, but I'm good if this is all I do. If I just edit all day, I'm good with that, and that is nice because I haven't had that feeling for a long time. But I should probably plug back in and get back into this before um, I lose my momentum. I am so conflicted. I just got to like a really intense part of my story and it just kind of goes from now until the end. And so I'm like, sh I should keep going because I'm really into it. But also I just checked and it's like 16,000 words and that's a little excessive. So I should probably just stop, right? It's eight o'clock now. I should still do my Japanese study. I still need to deal with that mess on the ground there and um, just get myself ready for tomorrow. I think, I don't know, I didn't, write a list today so it's not like I have a ton of things that I was gonna work on but I feel like stopping is okay because like I could just do 15,000 words tomorrow if I'm really so inclined right <sighs> okay I'm gonna stop for now and we'll see what happens but it's going well I'm excited which is a good thing but it always happens near the end of this book because I'm like Whoa! there's a few parts in between too where things come up and I go Whoa! But yeah, anyways, <laughs> I'm going to go now and I will check in with you in a little bit. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm like super unmotivated to do anything. I mean, I just finished my Japanese study, so like that was something. But it is just after 9 o'clock and I'm kind of like dragging my feet. Like, should I do something productive? Should I just get ready for bed? Should I shower? I was going to shower, but now after doing my Japanese, I'm like, mm, can wait another day. <laughs> because honestly I'm not that bad <laughs> I've been much worse so maybe I'll just start getting ready for bed or something I don't know I don't feel like I've had a productive day and yet I have I did I mention how many words I edited I edited 23,756 words <laughs> I have according to my calendar there wait let's look I have 27,341 words left, but that doesn't include the 10,000 that I actively cut, which brings it down to like 17,000. And based on what I selected, I only have actually about 15,000 left to edit. So, I mean, obviously I cut more words through there, but that's pretty exciting. I think I could theoretically finish it tomorrow, but tomorrow I definitely have to do invoicing. Um, I reached out to my boss with questions earlier in the week. I think I mentioned it and he just emailed me back and he was like, I did invoicing up until this date, so don't worry about it. I was like, well, that's one way to not have to answer the questions. <laughs> so that's where we're at. And um, yeah, tomorrow I'll do invoicing. Maybe I'll finish the edit, not banking on it, but it'd be a nice little bonus if I did. And then feeling pretty good. So that's where we're at. I think I'm going to get ready for bed. Try to have an early night tonight. <laughs> and um see what happens from there Alrighty, so with that it is the end of the night it is five after ten as promised i didn't really do anything since i last picked up the camera i did make a list for tomorrow so there's that and i decided to restart my audible subscription <laughs> because i'm gonna see i listened to two books last time because i got two free books with my sign up and the first book I don't know if it was the book or if it was the way it was read but I hated it the second book was a non-fiction book 
and I enjoyed it a lot more. There's a book that I've been meaning to read, um, so I just downloaded that, and uh, we'll see how that goes. It's a fiction one, another fiction one, and if it goes all right, maybe I'll do a non-fiction, or maybe I'll do another fiction, and if it goes terribly, I think it's just audiobooks aren't for me, so <laughs> we'll see what happens. Uh, but, I mean, I listen to a lot of podcasts that work, but, you know, an audiobook might not be so bad, so... We'll see how it goes, but with that, like I said, it's just after 10, and I should probably try to get to sleep because I haven't been sleeping well lately. So with that, I'm going to say thank you so much for coming along on today's adventure, and I'll see you tomorrow when we do very similar things. Good night!